Hi everyone, this is my first ever MacBook, so I thought it'd be fun to do an unboxing. So to give a little background as to why I'm buying a new laptop, my old HP laptop stopped working around mid-fall semester of 2022, and I was honestly so sad because it's been with me all throughout high school and my first two years of college. But looking back, I understand it's already run its course. So now that I'm about to finish college, I thought I needed a laptop that's reliable and fits well with my major and career. Since I'm interested in all things music, production, performing, etc., it looked like the MacBook had all of the things I was looking for. But even with having more pros than cons on the list, money was kind of what was stopping me from buying the MacBook in the first place. If I'm being honest, it's so expensive and on the surface it looks just like any other old laptop. But for a while, it was all I was seeing on any social media platform. People were saying how great the MacBook was. So I decided to take a chance and invest. The total cost was about $2,000 with taxes and student discount included. Which, honestly, there wasn't much of a discount. Now, I didn't think it was going to be heavily packaged, but it was definitely more satisfying opening it. I ended up getting the Space Gray 512 gigabytes, which was honestly more than enough to get me by. If I'm being honest, the wrapping the package took forever, but for it being shipped by mail, I'm glad it was this packaged, and I was so impatient, but I'm glad I finally got to see what was inside. The charger was a bit weird because I've never owned one of these before, but this type is a USB-C adapter and I think it's a 60 or 90 something watt with a magnetic tip and I honestly thought that was pretty cool. Starting up the laptop, the sound really scared me, and I thought it was so cute that it had a lot of different readings on the screen too. Setting up the MacBook was a little difficult. I'm so slow when it comes to technology since I really didn't grow up around it much. So it took a good while, like 10 minutes, to figure things out, setting up my ID you know how to use and putting over, up different preferences. Press command F5 now to turn it. Mm. That scared me.
So pretty much now for the rest of the video, I'm going to be talking about what I disliked and liked overall about the MacBook Pro. So the first thing I disliked about the MacBook is that there's no actual app store like how there are on iPhones. Um, I struggled so much with trying to download Google Chrome as my main browser, like it was so confusing because I would search it up on Safari and then I would have to put it on a folder and then upload it from there and that's basically the whole process for all the apps you want to download. Setting it up as my main default was really difficult and as you can see, I sped up the video because I just couldn't figure it out. The second thing I didn't like is setting up the wallpaper. It was honestly so much harder than it should be. Once again, you have to do extra steps just to do it and I couldn't figure it out on the settings for so long. I tried searching for help, but a lot of the articles were so unhelpful. Now, the biggest thing that I disliked the most about the MacBook is that I felt like I got scammed. <laughs> The MacBook is not 14 inches wide at all. It doesn't even reach like 12.5 inches side to side. Up and down, I checked and it's 9. Other laptops, I thought 14 to 16 inches were width based, so I don't understand why I paid $2,000 for something that's kind of falsely advertised. Like, I'm pretty sure Apple found a loophole to advertise it as 14 inches, but honestly, let me know down in the comments if you measured it and it's not 14 inches or if it's something else, because I really don't understand. Now, for the likes, I love the weight of the laptop and the material it's made out of. It's heavier than I thought, but I feel like I have a better grip on it and it's more sturdy. It doesn't overheat and it actually stays cold most of the time. I also like how there's no touch bar. It's also really fast and everything is HD. The graphics on this is literally no joke. Most of the stuff you download takes less than 5 seconds or less. Another thing is that the sound and the camera quality is amazing. When I use headphones or even without headphones, I don't have to put it up more than 3 bars because it's super loud. And the camera quality is kind of high definition. It works well in low lights and back shots away from the sun, great indoors and out. And it also has a long battery life. I can use it up to two full days and one half day and then not have to charge it until later. So my overall thoughts on the MacBook Pro, it's good for those who are in a profession that require a lot of software, data usage, music, graphic design, photography. And I also wouldn't recommend it for high school students because I feel that it's too much money and they most likely won't use all of the features it's meant for. As of this video posted, I've had the MacBook for about 4 months and it has been working amazing. So if you want a Q&A video about the MacBook, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to answer your questions. Thank you!